Okay, today we're going to you know, focus on one thing, which is the purchasing and selling of used gear. Now, the selling of used gear, we'll start first because it's really quick and easy. Um, selling on eBay or one of those type uh, sites may seem attractive and you may seem like you can get more for your item, um, but it's really not the case, you know, because I think there's a 15% give or take take from uh, eBay and you know the, the price you get for it and the shipping it and you know hopefully you know it doesn't come back because the person's not happy with it whatever it's more of a headache than it's worth and and for the money the little bit of extra money that you may make um, it's most of the time just not worth it honestly it just isn't worth it you know, if I have a piece of gear to sell, I send it to MPB, I get the price. If I like it, I sell it, I'm done. There's no, That's it. You know, there's no shipping, there's no waiting, there's no returns, nothing. It's just done. Um, it makes it easy. Uh, and th that's my part about the selling. Buying. Believe it or not, buying used gear is for the rich or for the people that have money, that can afford to take the risk. Um, you know, I did try uh, to buy two pieces of used gear. Um, you know, it was from MPB, and I'm not blaming them for the products that were sent. You know, it, it, they may have been sitting on a shelf for a while. One had bad corrosion. The other one just had a hot shoe issue. Things that normally wouldn't be checked um, with a fine-tooth comb kind of a thing. Um, should they have been? Yes, I believe they should have been, but they weren't so... And then when I did buy into a new system, um, you know, because of the chip shortage or whatever it is, uh, used prices have gone way up. I mean, you know, they're they're expensive to buy used gear now. Uh, you know, when it's in like new condition, which is the only thing I'll buy in a in a body, um, and same thing with lens anymore. Uh, prices are outrageous. I mean, they're a couple hundred dollars under a new product. Um, and I know it's, it seems off the surface attractive to save a couple hundred dollars, and, and that's a lot of money to some people. But you have to look at the back end of this. You know, in the old days, um, we might use gear all the time, like because they were a pretty basic body, camera, lens. Yeah, um, the lenses, you know, they're a mechanical product um, and, and they were built like tanks back in the day and they just worked uh, today it's all electronics I mean the only electronics in this is your light meter <laughs> honestly uh, most of these products you can use without a battery um, they work without a battery and it's a mechanical process and they just work so it wasn't that big of a deal to buy a used camera um, back in this day but today it is all electronics, and repair costs are outrageous. Um, myself, I personally want a Leica, I'm, I'm, and the only way I can afford a Leica just to have and play with is to buy a used one. But that's a real crapshoot because you know it, it requires maintenance. It requires repair sometimes, and you don't know what the previous owner did to it. Believe me, a camera can take a fall, a heavy fall, without getting a mark on it. You know, if it's in a case, it takes a good jar, something screwed up inside, you'll never know. The camera will look brand new. Um, I'll give you a quick for instance. I bought a Fuji 35, and this, it was boxed mint. This, can, this lens was spotless, okay? The, the gentleman who was selling it sent me many pictures of it. And, and I made a huge mistake by buying it uh, um, through, I think it was Facebook, um, whatever, the marketplace. Anyway, it was, a, it was a decent price. It was only like 75 off of new, but it was still 75 off of new. But this thing was brand new, like everything about it. When I got it, it wouldn't focus. When I contacted him back, he disappeared. Now, he had great ratings, but just ghosted me. So I sent it to Fuji to get repaired. They said that... Now, this, the focus issue, just so we get clear on this, the focus issue was from maybe eight feet out beyond, it was just a bad focus. Closer, no issues. It was sharp. So I sent it to Fuji, and they said, oh, it's the motors. I'm thinking, okay, well, 
you know, I, it doesn't make sense, but I'm not a repair person. I don't know. You know, maybe the motors just stopped at that point and they had to be replaced. So they replaced the motors. It took about two and a half weeks. It was $199. I got the lens back and the same issue was there. So contacted Fuji. They're like, okay, we'll send it back. It'll take a couple weeks. But at that point, I was just like, okay, I'm done. Um, I haven't sent it back yet. You know, point blank, it's sitting collecting dust. Because I didn't want to like... You know, they're going to re-repair it. Maybe they'll charge me, maybe they won't. But I still have to pay shipping. I still have to pay, you know. That's the problems. Um, and with a camera body especially, um, you know, for a CLA from any camera company, you know, you're looking at $150 to $250. Now, you know, because I mentioned Leica, like, let's say Leica, you, you know, if there's an issue with a Leica camera, if they can't fix it in the States, which... If they're just too busy, they won't. They'll send it to Germany. You're looking at, at months <laughs> before you get your camera back. Now, I can't afford that time down with a camera. Um, and, and I can't afford the, their pricing you know, to, to repair. So if a camera's under warranty, like a Nikon, a Canon, a Fuji, um, and the only way you get the re warranty is because <laughs> you purchased it new, you're safe. Okay, you still may have the time frames problems, but you're still safe to know that you're not going to have to pay for that for X many of years, whether it's one year or two years, whatever the warranty is on it. So it really is for the people that can afford it, which, you know, I, I know it's counterintuitive because, you know, I, I don't have a lot of money. I have to buy used. But then if you buy used and there's something wrong with the camera, you have to send it there for repair. Now, the other side of that is it could be a gray market. You won't know. I mean, unless this person can prove that it's not gray market, when you send it in, they can refuse repair, period. They don't, don't have to repair it. They won't repair it. <laughs> I, I shouldn't say they can. They will refuse repairing it. No matter what the company is, they're not going to repair it. So I really want you to think about, you know, the cost factor of after. Now, I know some companies like, uh, you know, KEH and MPB, they offer a 60-day warranty or a 30-day warranty, whatever. But, you know, that 31 days or 61 days and something goes wrong, you're still in the same boat. You know, you're still in the same situation where you have to pay to get it repaired. Um, so you really got to weigh the odds when purchasing used equipment, uh, especially for a body or, or these, I mean, lenses today, they're not like the old days. Um, it's not just glass it's, they're, they're a little computer inside of a lens. <laughs> they're motors inside of a lens. Um, so it's an issue. So really think before you purchase used. Um, and, and if you absolutely positively need to buy used, you know, get it from a very reputable, this is how many days you have to return it. This is, you know, and what are they going to do? Are they going to replace it? Or are they going to try to repair it? And if they do say, hey, we have the option to repair it or replace it, find out how long it's going to take. Because I, I, I promise you, it's scary now. Um, a lot of companies are still light on repair people because of COVID. Um, repair times are taking so much longer than normal. And the, uh, again, the costs of getting things repaired, if it's not under warranty or it's just a day out, they're outrageous. Um, and, and it may hurt quite a bit. Um, and I got stung really bad on that lens. Um, I ended up paying $250 over what I paid for it new. Uh, so, you know, really, th well, I'm sorry, $150 over what I paid, what I would have paid for it new. So really think about it. You know, I, it's better to save up and, and get the body that has a warranty on it. That's from the U S or from whatever country you're from, uh, not gray market. Um, and, and have that warranty and have a, a solid product. Anyway, I hope this helps. Uh, you know, I'm sorry to put a pin in this um, and, and burst some bubbles, uh, but I'm just trying to help and, and save you some money in the long end versus the short end. Um, anyway, have a great day and good luck with your gear.